Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video we are going to look into how the cross table filtering works. I'm just going to take a one small example and uh, go through a couple of my years to explain um, how we usually solve the problem and then we will look into how the same problem can be solved using cross table filtering. Let's get into Power BI and look at the look at the solution. So here in Power BI, what I have is a very simple uh, table. Um, I'm just gonna go to the data modeling here. Uh, what I have is a sales uh, table and the target table and two dimensions, product and customer. Pretty straightforward, one to many, one to many relationship. And then in the table visual, I'm using customer from customer table, product from product table, and then total sales, which is sum of sales from the sales dimension. This is say, total sales. And then the total target is sum of target from the um, target table. The ask turned out to be that user wanted to see the sales only for those product or those customers which has a target. And uh, the product, so customer does not have the target, uh, they didn't want to uh, see that in the visualization. In this particular example, the first row C1 customer and P1, it has a sales but no target. So we don't want to see this particular uh, uh, line item. Similarly, C4 and P4 has a $500 sales and then there is no target and we don't want to saw, see this um, uh, sales. So there are a few ways to solve it, but let's, let's first look into a, the doing a, a using a visual instead of uh, using a DAX measure instead of using the cross table filtering. So I'm going to add a measure here just to give you an example what we will how we will do it. Uh, so let's add a measure called um, total sales. Uh, no target we call it version one so the one way we can do is we can go sum x and then we go summarize sales table and uh, what we want is summarize over now what so we are basically grouping it together so one we can argue here that we we want it to be grouped on right now we are seeing on a customer and a product on the matrix visual so let's uh, assume that's what we want to do so we go customer, customer, and then uh, product, product, and then we can add uh, another now a a calculated uh, measure store in a in a variable or in a column because we are creating a a, a table here using summarize. So we can say sales. So just the total sales measure. I'm not sure why this tooltip is showing up funny. Uh, so this is a new August uh, 2022 update. So I'm using it first time. I think it's pretty annoying. Uh, and then target is target is uh, total target. Wow, that's pretty annoying. Can't even see what I'm typing. Okay. So once the summarize happened, so this is basically we're going to, we are doing is sum max over this table, which is now grouped by customer and product. And then we can say here, if our target is blank, or maybe actually do in another way, if not is blank target, then sum the sales otherwise don't because then it's otherwise blank so if i use this measure and total sales with target bring it uh, no target this one so now this is working perfectly fine as you can see the c1 p1 doesn't show any sales and c4 p4 doesn't show any um uh, sales and it's only showing the sales which has the target so if I remove total sales and total target out of this uh, I got the result so this is working perfectly fine but where this solution will fall apart uh, let's say we have a, another dimension in the model and currently we are looking by customer and by product 
and everything is working because we summarized our uh, uh, a, a sales table grouped by customer and product and uh, it, th th this is my but if let's say we have a, a date column or some other geography column or any other column we put it in here and we try to use this measure it will fall apart let me actually show you uh, what I'm talking about let's say if we change this measure and we are only uh, well, currently let's say we are seeing it by uh, customer only not by product so everything is working fine and uh, let me make another view here and uh, see it by product So in both cases, this is working perfectly fine. We have a, a for these three customers, we have a sale 700 that makes sense. And we have a 700 here uh, uh, as well in our target, um, oh, sorry, by product. So let's actually bring our real data as well so that we can uh, see the actual, the, the problem, which I really want to explain here. So I'm gonna go bring product and total sales and the total target so this contains everything so at least we can compare it so so in the measure which we added uh, total sales no target v1 we grouped it on customer and product and everything worked perfectly fine but think about that if there is another dimension let's say uh, originally when i was trying to do this i only wanted to see it by customer so I'm gonna uh, group it only by customer and then sales and target and the whole logic remains the same. And uh, now things gonna fall apart here. As you can see, when I'm looking by customer, I'm getting 800. And when I'm looking by product, I'm getting 800, but the total does not sum up. Now, the reason behind that is, in the, our measure, we are saying we are grouping it by customer. So if you look here, if we're grouping it by customer, and if I remove the product from my this raw table, if I remove the product, what I'm getting here is, I'm getting C1 has a 500 sales and 400 targets. So, it's, so now I'm getting C2 has a total sales of 200, 200 targets. So basically I'm getting the sum of these first three rows 500 200 and uh, 100 800 so this is working fine because i told in my measure to be grouped by customer but actually as soon as i bring the product in my original table in my raw table uh, the numbers are totally different right the, the actual answer is supposed to be at this granularity 400 200 and uh, 400 200 and 100 which is 700 so this measure depending on how we are grouping the result is changing so uh, let's go other way around so we, we go customer and a product uh, rather than using customer product grouping we we just group it by product so in this case everything is working fine because this is the lowest granularity the 700 here and the 700 here and that's what we are expecting 400 200 and 100 uh, that's a 700 so and one more thing is again like as I said earlier that if there is a third dimension and currently we are grouping it by customer and product it means if there is a third dimension comes in the picture let's say we put a date column in there and then all of a sudden um, the, the grouping of the measure is by customer and product not by date and it will it will not work and so, so how we make solve it and how we make it dynamic and all the stuff and this is where the cross table filtering comes in the picture. I'm not going to go in details how does that work um, uh, and uh, there is actually I'm going to share the link of the blog post by Jeffrey Wong. Uh, he's a kind of a father of DAX. Uh, he has all that um, great explanation in his uh, uh, blog post. Uh, it will be not a justice to explain everything what he, is, he has written. So I will share the link of that blog post in the description of this video. So you do go and read about the blog post and understand everything, uh, the magic about the cross table filtering. But what I'm going to show here is what the solution is going to be is very, very simple. So what we're gonna, I already actually uh, created a measure here. Uh, it's called total sales with target only. So basically what we have is we have a total sales 
and then we have a filter which is a target call table so this is name of the table uh, and again the idea behind that is this is the expanded tables and uh, that's what the filtration is happening again uh, to read and find out all the details around that go read uh, the blog post which i will share in the description of this video um, so now with this new measure which is just a very very simple measure uh, total sales with target only so we are just saying total sales and then filtering it by target so now if i bring this measure in any of these visuals uh, the new measure which we created total sales with target only so here you go it's working 400 200 and 107 if i'm looking at the customer level it's working fine and uh, let's say if i remove it from the product level and now bring my new measure total sales with the target only it's working 600 and, uh, and 100 700 that's what the expected result is and if even if i go with the concatenation of the customer and the product and bring my new measure here total sales with the target only uh, it will work there as well so uh, if i remove total sales and total target and as you can see uh, it's working fine again uh, it's, a, it's a very very simple we don't have to do all this conditional check and the grouping and all the stuff the predefined design the grouping because what we're doing here is we are predefining uh, how we expect it to see and visualize the data and uh, then we are grouping and then putting this condition to check this out uh, and whereas with the with the table cross filtering uh, cross filtering uh, cross table filtering uh, very simple measure uh, just the total sales and filter by target uh, by the table uh, is going to uh, uh, we are going to achieve the same result and uh, does not matter what granularity we are looking the data at and it will work work perfectly fine i hope you learned this is a small video small thing uh, but it is very very powerful and uh, i'm since i learned it i'm using it in many many measures and it's amazing um let me know what you guys think about this video. Uh, I hope you learned uh, one or two things about the DAX magic and the cross table filtering. Again, uh, I would highly recommend to read that blog post from Jeffrey Wong and understand how this all is working. Um, do subscribe my channel. I will be sharing a lot more other videos uh, similar to this and uh, different areas of Power BI. Until next video, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.